So let's start with the E chord. You're going to have this low E string open. You're going to put your middle finger on the second fret of the A string. You're going to put your ring finger on the second fret of the D string. And then you're going to put your index finger on the first fret of the G string. And you're going to leave this B and this E string open. And if you want to make that chord E minor, all you'd have to do is simply lift your index finger and you're bringing that major third down a half step to a flat third. So here's the difference. Now onto the G chord, which is your middle finger on the third fret of the E string, your index finger on the second fret of the A string, the D string and the G string open, your ring finger on the third fret of the B string, and then your pinky finger on the third fret of the high E. And then all together. And you can also remove your pinky and have your ring finger on the, uh, the high E on the third fret, and you can leave the D, the G, and the B string open. And sometimes that's an easier transition point uh, when you're first starting. So now onto the A chord, which is the open A, the second fret on the D string, the second fret on the G string, and the second fret on the B string. And you can use your index finger, your middle finger, and your ring finger and do it like this. I prefer to bar those strings with my index finger. Play it like this. Uh, so I'm still hitting the same frets, you know, second fret D, second fret G, second fret B. But I'm just doing it with one finger. And then to go to A minor, we do the same thing we did with E. We just bring the major third down a half step, right? So the major third is this B string right here, right? So now when I keep the same uh, two frets there and then just move down that major third. See? So for the A minor, it's just the open A, the second fret on the D string, your ring finger on the second fret of the G string, and then your index finger on the first fret of the B string rather than the second. And then back to A. So now on to C, which is gonna be your ring finger on the third fret of the A string, your middle finger on the second fret of the D string. You're gonna have the G string open. Then you're gonna have your index finger on the first fret of the B string. that high E open, baby. Just let it ride. Now here's the D chord, which is the open D string. Index finger on the second fret of the G string. Ring finger on the third fret of the B string. And then middle finger on the second fret of the high E. And all together. And then bring it down to a minor. Remember, we're just gonna take the major third bring it down half step so now we have the open D we have our middle finger on the second fret of the G our ring finger still on the third fret of the B and then now this index finger is gonna hit this high E on the first fret and, and hear the difference and it's just by bringing So let's say we wanted to make this E major into an F major. You think you would just bring it up a half step, right? Well, you have to bar down the first fret because you're recreating the nut of the guitar. So you take your index finger and you'd bar down all the strings on the first fret. And then you would take your pinky, your ring finger, and your middle finger and you would recreate the E major shape. So you would put your ring finger on the third fret of the A string, your pinky on the third fret of the D string, your middle finger on the second fret of the G string, and then with your index finger, you're gonna bar down the low E and the B and the high E. And you can move this shape anywhere. So there's G. And then if you wanted to make that a minor chord, 
you would just pick up your middle finger. Because it's just like with, with E major, you can go, that's E minor. So this is G major, G minor. Right? So now let's take the A major shape and move that up a half step to B flat major. You're gonna take your index finger, put it on the first fret of the A string, and then with your ring finger, you're gonna bar the D string, the G string, and the B string on the third fret. And this shape can be moved anywhere. And then if you wanna make that a minor chord, you do the same shape, but you would just put your middle finger on the second fret of the B string. So now you would go index finger, first fret of the A string, ring finger, third fret of the D string, pinky, third fret of the G string, and now your middle finger is gonna be on the second fret of the B string. Where before you were barring, see the difference? Because all you're doing is just moving that major third down. All right, so now let's take the C major shape and move it up a half step to D flat major. And we are going to take our pinky finger, put it on the fourth fret of the A string, our ring finger, put it on the third fret of the D string, our index finger on the first fret of the G string, and our middle finger on the second fret of the B string. You can move this shape anywhere. And a good exercise from going from that shape to the E major shape is a song called Under the Bridge. Right there. Right, because you're doing this shape, which we just learned. And, and now we're going back to that E major shape we learned, but now it's F sharp major. So it's a pretty cool song to kind of practice to help you, um, you know, get it going. So if you wanted to take the D major shape and move it up a half step to E flat major, you would put your index finger on the first fret of the D string, your middle finger on the third fret of the G string, your pinky on the fourth fret of the B string, and your ring finger on the third fret of the high E. I find it easier just to only fret the G, the B, and the high E string because then you can move this simple shape up and down, you know? And then for D minor, right? If we wanted to move that up a half step to E flat minor, we would put our index finger on the first fret of the D string, our ring finger on the third fret of the G string, our pinky on the fourth fret of the B, and our middle finger on the second fret of the high E. Remember, you can just move these shapes up and down the neck. And that's pretty much it.